I realize I'm about a millennia too late to making this guide, but I figured better late than dead channel, am I right? Nomad is the newest attacking operator in Rainbow Six Siege Operation Wind Bastion, and brings to the table her new unique air jabs, which have the power of knocking defenders on their ass and even through walls. She essentially serves as a two-armor, two-speed fragger that can cover her own flanks, and doesn't have much synergy with fellow attacking operators. Nomad comes cocked, locked, and loaded with a choice between two primary assault rifles, the AK-74M or the ARX-20. Either gun is useful, and the only really notable differences are the stronger horizontal recoil and larger magazine of the AK. If you're planning on using an ACOG and holding long angles, I'd go with the ARX, unless you're an absolute god at controlling recoil, in which case, why are you even watching this video? Personally, I prefer using the AK with a reflex sight and bum rushing close to the objective, although I pretty much do that with everyone. Mostly IQ because she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal, but I digress. Nomad's secondary is a perfectly balanced 44 auto mag with an ACOG, which actually has a higher damage at max range than both primaries, so do with that information what you will. As far as gadgets, you might as well stick with the Claymore for extra flank denial, but you could go with breaching charges if your team needs extra splodies. Anyway, let's get on to the meat of this Moroccan sandwich, the air jabs. Air jabs are mostly useful for covering your flanks, so try to place them in unsuspecting corners and doorways to alert you when a roamer is sneaking up behind you. If you're quick enough, it can lead to a free kill while the defender's on the ground, but for the most part they're just there to alert you to a defender's position before they can fuck you in bum bum. Just be careful not to place them too high or they won't actually blow the defenders, although I'm sure you'll be able to find Nomad doing that somewhere on the internet soon enough. Counters to the air jabs include Jaeger's ADS devices, as well as just shooting them with any gun if you can spot them. So as much as you might want to just send them into the objective room willy-nilly, keep in mind that your laser sight is clearly visible and it's fairly easy for your defenders to spot exactly where you'd be shooting your jab. Also keep in mind that you can't pick these up, so once you shoot those fuckers, they're there for life. No, I did it twice! <laughs> Fuck! As a whole though, they aren't really that game-changing. In fact, as far as new operators go, I don't see Nomad picked nearly as often as previous attackers like Maverick or Lion, but that doesn't mean she can't make for some good memes. My current goal with Nomad is to blast someone through a wall on Favela and watch them fall to their death, but it's much easier said than done. On the whole, the only thing Nomad really brings to the table is sick magna montages, aka a brand new way to flex on casuals. Now onto the man with the mustache, also known as Fat Bandit. Cade, or Kaid? Kaid? Is a three armor defender equipped with a choice between the AUG A3 assault rifle without the option of an ACOG, or the TCSG-12 slug shotgun that for some reason does have one. As if flexing with automag one taps wasn't enough, now you can do the same with a shotgun at max range plus some more. Honestly, with a shotgun this strong, I have no idea why you wouldn't use it, unless you can't aim for shit, which, fair enough, I guess. Cade's electro claws are better than Bandit's shock wires in that one can be used to electrocute two reinforced walls, and it can be hidden above the reinforcement to prevent Maverick from making holes and shooting them. For the most part though, you should use them to electrocute reinforced hatches from below, unless you're playing against some 20 IQ coppers that don't know how to shoot the very obvious shock wire that Bandit can place on top. But don't forget, Thatcher is still a thing, and EMP trumps all. You can also place the claws around corners to electrocute barbed wire, but you only have two of the fuckers, so that seems like kind of a waste unless you have someone playing Bandit on your team to shock reinforcements and no hatches to worry about. Overall, I don't have any complaints about the Wind Bastion operators, but no serious appraisals either. This season doesn't seem to have affected the meta in any drastic way, and if you're looking for your next operator to buy without dropping $30 on the year pass, I might look elsewhere first. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next shitpost. post.